Hello guys and welcome back to yet another Galactic Craft tutorial and today we're back on Mars yet again and last episode we went and did the dungeon boss and you guys should now all have your beautiful looking schematics um, and yeah you should have all that sorted uh, we're not going to be covering them today though like I said there's going to be some machines that I wanted to show you guys and this is basically them, and there's also the launch controller, which I will show you in the next episode. That's got to do with something else. Um, so the first thing I want to show you guys is the terraform. I'm not sure if this is going to work on Mars. I know 100% it works on the moon. I have not tried it here yet. But we're going to give it a go anyway. So as you can see, there's this little green dome bubble thing. Uh, and this is produced by this. This is basically all it's got at the minute is power and it's going to show you the radius of what is going to be terraformed. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 by 14 blocks. Uh, so 29 in diameter. Not sure how high it goes. Doesn't really matter. So you've got 29 by 29 area which this is going to terraform. Uh, so basically you have to fill this thing with four different things a uh, water bone meal saplings and seeds so you can put grass uh, bone meal i can't remember what that does and then this will make trees which you can disable or enable it's up to you uh, so you got full control over that while it's in here so you can still load your items in but i think two buckets fills this up yeah two buckets fills it up you can have additional water there just in case and then you want to fill yourself some bone meal some seeds, and I would say not enough saplings, trees, terraforming, there you go, it says it's terraforming, a tree, and it's making grass, so this is pretty cool, look, this is the kind of thing it does, it will literally turn everything in this area now into grass, like there, it will turn everything into grass and trees and stuff like that, and it's really, really awesome, and it will basically boost these as well eventually uh so this is quite a quick process i think let's actually we're gonna sit here i'm gonna record all of it and we're gonna do a time lapse and see how long it takes uh for this to grow um whoa <laughs> yo yo man what the hell are you doing Just trying to get a nice angle that jesus christ these trees are going mental okay so we're gonna sit here and we're gonna we're going to time lapse this and we're going to see how fast it all goes. So I'll see you guys on the other side of the time lapse. Okay, so this has taken us a little while. We've run out of power, unfortunately, but it's not taken too long to get to where it is. Uh, so that's not too bad at all. It's doing quite a good job. It's sort of killed itself a little bit now, though. And the trees are getting huge in some of the places. It looks awesome. Obviously, you probably put this in a more logical place. I'd probably disable a couple of trees as well and chop them down. Um, but yeah, you can basically put your collectors. Uh, that's not getting enough power which means we won't be getting any oxygen in there at the minute. Um, so let's just quickly go time set day. Um, these things seem to go very, very, very quickly. The uh, days in this place, by the way, that's what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, so we're going to carry on with this quickly. Um, just let that do what it's going to do. And I can show you guys the rest of the machines while it does that. And hopefully it'll be finished by the time we're finished. Uh, so there's these trees in the way there, yes there are these trees in the way um so there are these three machines uh they're called you've got the water electrolyzer the methane synth synthesizer 
and the gas liquefier. These three machines all work uh, in sync together. We're just going to quickly grab ourselves some water uh, because we're going to need some of the water. Let's actually just get a bedrocking drum of water. <laughs> and bless you there. There we go. And then we can just keep filling our buckets up. I'm pretty sure. No, why? I don't know. I don't know why that's doing that. Uh, let's have a look again. Water drum. Pretty sure we're meant to be able to just right click out of that. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> But we have water anyway, so uh, this thing here basically will... I haven't tried this, okay? Um, I'm going to be 100% honest, I haven't tried this yet. So if this works, it would be quite interesting. So basically put water in there. It's going to run, I don't know exactly what it's going to do. Liquid oxygen is going to get stored in there. Hydrogen is going to come over to here, awesome. This also needs carbon, okay. By the looks of it, we get fragmented carbon from placing coal in our inventory. Or coal block. One coal block will give you a stack of 64 fragmented carbon. So that's not too bad a deal whatsoever. So you can get a fair amount of that. Um, so we just need... Let's have a quick look. Like I said, I've never I've never played with this bit before yet. Um, so this is all new to me. So basically, I'm guessing you take fragmented carbon... As you can see, the hydrogen is going into here, liquid gas is going into here, and this is all from one bucket of water. So we're still going, we're going through a fair amount here. Almost got 4,000 out of it. And then I'm going to guess we just place carbon in there. Fragmented carbon can go here. Okay, so that's basically going to make carbon dioxide, which is going to make methane gas. Methane gas going here. I have no idea. Methane gas goes in there and then you place an empty canister in there maybe? I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> it's all new to me. So I'm going to guess. Yeah, it goes through there. Hydrogen goes into there. Makes methane gas. Place a canister in there. That's going to give you a canister of methane gas. We're then going to take that out of there. We're going to put that in the glass liquefier. That's going to take that out and it's going to make liquid fuel, liquid tank, liquid tank fuel, liquid nitrogen. How do you make liquid nitrogen? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. Right, let's just have a quick look here. I don't know. I have no idea how we make this. Uh, but that's basically going to split it into fuel. Let's have a look here. So the water electrolyzer transforms water into hydrogen. Useful for the methane synthesizer and oxygen. With a source of hydrogen and a source of carbon, this manufactures methane for further processing in the gas liquefier. Liquefies gases either from atmosphere or from canisters. Liquefied methane me makes good rocket fuel. So that's methane gas, so it should be making a liquid? Surely? You should be making this into liquid methane? I'm not sure. Apparently, there's like methane. I don't. Was it be liquid nitrogen? That's a gas. So I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. So I'm gonna guess you just place that in there, like so. It's not making anything in there, but it's making this liquid tank fuel. Let's place that in there. What's that gonna give us? Fuel. That's just gonna give us standard fuel. I don't know if that's gonna be any different. Got the same meta value? It does. So I don't know. I don't know exactly know what we've gained from that, other than the fact that we can. Actually, I guess we can make fuel from water, which is pretty cool. Cool. There we go. We just discovered <laughs> we can make fuel out of water. Who knew? Um, liquid oxygen. How do you place liquid oxygen in anything? 
empty canister, which I have in there. Canister of emptiness. Okay, you're not going into there, but whatever. Whatever. So, basically, this will allow you to make um, fuel out of water. And these are fairly simple to make. I haven't made these yet, uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to make them. I haven't set up benches. Normally, I do. Um, let's have a look. So, we're going to start off with the electrical electro Liza. So each of these will take um, this fluid manipulator and this thing is fairly easy to make. It's basically going to take, well it's not very easy, we're going to need motoric iron, uh, four pieces of on each one so that's going to be 12 alone across all the things and then we're going to need slime balls on each, advanced wafers on each and these fans on each which aren't too hard to make at all. Um, but then for your water electrolyzer, you're going to need bronze, two pieces of copper, two oxygen pipes, one oxygen vent, and two heavy oxygen tanks with full oxygen. So it has to be full oxygen tanks. We tried this in the past, and it doesn't work otherwise. Next, you're going to have your methane synthesizer. This is basically going to be created in the same way. Instead of your two copper plates down here, though, you're going to have one electric furnace and one oxygen compressor. And then moving on to the liquefier, again, very same similar process, uh, except you swap out one of your heavy oxygen tanks for a medium, swap out one of the oxygen pipes for a medium as well, and then these two down here will be a decompressor and a compressor. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need to know. And this is terraformed lovely in the process of doing that. Uh, so these were the... Th four machines that I want to show you. There is a fifth, but that is going to come with the tutorial on how to build the cargo rocket and such things. Um, but that is going to be, that's going to be everything for this episode. I just basically want to show you guys some cool machinery uh, that's going to help you out and make things really cool and um, awesome. I showed you guys how to make them now. I show you guys how to make Terraformer in two episodes ago. All that stuff, whatever, whatever. And then hopefully in the next episode, I can show you guys how to make the tier three rocket. Or we'll show you guys how to make the cargo rocket. And I think that's it. There's some other bits and pieces that we need to do on Mars as well. But that will probably be in an episode afterwards on its own, just before we leave Mars. Uh, so that was good. all I got time for today. I hope you guys have found the episode useful. I hope you guys have learned something new that you didn't know. I definitely have because I've never played with these. And I think that's awesome. You can make... Uh, fuel out of water it takes a little process but it's not too bad it's going to take a little bit of carbon but one coal block is going to give you 64 that's not a bad deal at all uh, so thank you guys very much for watching it you guys have a very fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye